In this video, we'll be adjusting best NVIDIA settings for our PC to unlock insane performance gain. So, let's get into it. At first, we'll be clearing the NVIDIA cache from our system, and after that, we'll be heading for the control panel settings. So, to delete the cache, first open up your NVIDIA control panel, On the Manage 3D Settings section, scroll down and here set Shader Cache Size to Disabled. Hit Apply. And now restart your machine. After restart, you have to open Run Application using the Windows in our shortcut. Type out percentage Local App Data Percentage with no space, then hit Enter. Here search for NVIDIA. GL cache, here are the two folders, permanently delete them using shift delete shortcut. And now, select app data from here, local low, NVIDIA, per driver version, DX cache, we have to empty this folder, you can see, around 2 gigabytes of cache is stored here. Alright open it. Select all using control A, and shift delete them. Now use the disk cleanup tool. Select your Windows drive and hit OK. Tap on cleanup system files. With the C drive selected press on OK. Uncheck all. And only check the DirectX shader cache. Then hit OK. Delete files. That's it. Now let's head for the settings. Open your NVIDIA control panel. Manage 3D settings. Now follow my settings. Image scaling to off. Ambient occlusion to off. Anisotropic filtering to application controlled. Anti-aliasing FXAA to off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction to off. Anti-aliasing mode to application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency to off. Background application max frame rate to off. CUDA GPUs to all. CUDA system fallback policy to driver default. DSR factors to off. Low latency mode to off. Max frame rate should be off, but you can even limit your FPS to 60 to get a stable FPS. Monitor technology to G-Sync compatible. Multi-frame sample AA to off. Open GL GDI compatibility to auto open GL rendering GPU to the graphics card you're using. Power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate to highest available. And shader cache size should be set to 10 GB or 100 GB, but if you have less than 400 GBs available in your C drive go for 10 GB. First two texture filtering options should be as it is. The texture filtering quality should be set to high performance. Try linear optimization to on. Threaded optimization to on. Triple buffering to off. Vertical sync to off, but if you experience screen tearing, you can set this on. The rest should remain as it is. Apply it. Now go for Configure Surround Physics section, here in the Processor section select your GPU only if you have a powerful GPU, otherwise keep it as it is. Apply it. Now go for Desktop Color Settings. Here you can adjust your screen's color settings, with the All Channel selected in here, easily configure your best visual experience from here. Or you can just copy my settings. Apply to save the changes. Now G-Sync section. This option should be enabled. Apply it. Now lastly the resolution section. Select the highest refresh rate from here.
Alright now restart your machine, and you're good to enjoy. And yeah, after clearing the shader cache, your first game launch might be a tad laggy as it loads up shaders, but fear not. Within 10 to 15 minutes, you'll be experiencing the best your machine can provide, and thanks for sticking around. Hope you found these tips handy. Don't forget to smash that like button, creating this content is no joke. And with all due respect, love your parents, respect your country, and most importantly, take care of yourselves, catch you in the next video, until then. Oh yeah, here are some videos, might be useful for you, so you can check them out. Thanks.